Hi, great people. You're yeah, welcome back to Seek of Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. We really appreciate as many that has been subscribing to this uh, wonderful channel. And if you are yet to subscribe, subscribe today. Thank you. Today, I want to teach you how to make one beautiful dance key or shift dress with patch pockets. It's going to be a wonderful time. Let's go. So to make this dress, all you need is uh, like one and a half uh, years of fabric. And uh, I'll be using this one to, to make the patch uh, pocket. So I'll be working with uh, um, the length of 39 inches. And the, the dress is going to be a cut together one. We're going to cut it together with the sleeve. So I've shared the, the fabric for the front and the, you know, and the back uh, panel. So I'll be using this for the front panel. So it's like, uh, you know, I told you the length we are working with is a uh, 39. It's 38 we really want to achieve. We just add a one inch uh, seam allowance. So we're having like 39 here. So don't mind this fabric is the type that is just folding anyhow. That's why I have to, you know, pin it down here. Yeah. So this this fabric is on fold. Uh, we have a uh, 16 inches on fold. So when you open it, it's 32. So I folded it. So now to get the the neck now, the neckline. I'll be using three, three by three inches, three inches. So now three by three inches. Then I now from these three inches, I have, I measure another three inches to open my slit. So to achieve that, I'll just, you know, yeah, just like measure like quarter. Quarter an inch. Then I connect it to this. It's not going to be straight. It's going to be so I'll be using this uh, French cuff to achieve it. So you can see from here, I just connect it. Hope you are seeing it. I just connect it. You, you can see it's not straight. So then I connect this uh, three by three with my French cuff again. So I'll just, for this side, I'll just get my hammer of uh, 10 inches. You can use nine, so be use between nine to 11 inches. So it depends on your size. So I'll be using 10 inches for this. So I just notch it. I'm not slanting the this leg factor. So this is it. So I'll just cut out the the neck, the neckline. So this is it for the for the front cut. So I want to cut the back now. Now to to cut the back now. I get my neckline, the the wideness three inches, just the way it was in the front, but the depth is going to be one inch at the back. One inch. Then I connect it like so. This material is so fine. Then I get my ammo line of 10 inches. I notch it. Then I cut the neckline of 3 inches by 1. So now the next thing to do 
now is to cut the facing for the for both front and the and the back and uh, after i'll be using this to cut the face facing after cutting the facing we have to cut out this uh, um, paper stay so that the the front uh, neckline we stand it won't be falling in that uh, opening so let's cut out the cut out facing for the back then i mark out three inches round you can make it two and a half This is the facing for the for the back. <laughs> this material is just folding, don't mind it. By the time we iron it and join it together, everything is going to be okay. This is the facing for the back. I want to cut the facing for the front. Now, I want to cut out the facing for the front cut. You can see that I have to pin it down because you must achieve exactly the way you cut it out here when you were cutting your original fabric then you measure your three inches round the way you measure it in the back this is where our opening stopped so you measure three inches down you measure three inches here You can even use your French curve to achieve this, you know, this side. Uh, yes, so we will now use this to cut out uh, the paper stick. Because for the front cut, you have to add the stay so that your opening, the opening, the slits in the front, the center front will stand. It won't be falling. So, you need to cut out this and uh, place it on the facing. I mean, go it to the facing before you, you now sew it to the original fabric so, this is the, the face now i'm going to iron it to this before i now you know before i attach this face to the front cut ah. so place your patch pockets now you open your fabric to the to the right side then you place it, the one you have cut out, like a, a 12 by 10 uh, inches. So you just place it diagonally like this, ensuring that this is the left side of the of your material, ensuring that where you want to do your opening of the pocket is around 19 inches, around 18 to 20 inches. So that is where this is where the opening of this book that is where you will be inserting your your and we have to be around the 18 to 20 inches this is where we are going to put our opening so we we'll place it like this you can see the way i place it diagonally then i will sew it round i will sew it all through leaving like a six inches here at the you know at the center of this side i will leave like a six inches here where i will be able to insert my hand as a pocket so so i will have to do this first before i start uh, joining the facing um, before you can you know attempt to even join front and back together so after joining this uh, patch pocket now so the next thing i will do is to join the facing to the front then I joined the facing of the back. Thereafter, I joined the shoulder. I joined the shoulder front and back. I joined it together. Then I joined the, the side of my overdress. 
So then you hem the damp parts of your dress. So our uh, beautiful, you know, dancing dress is ready. You can see how beautiful it looks. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. So give it a like, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends so that they, they too can have knowledge of this uh, wonderful tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.